All right then, guys and girls, YouTubers. What we have is the partial setup done. Now, this is the uh, first part of this. We, the owner of the van is going to rip the hood lining out, so we're going to run some wiring for these light bars. This one's only here temporarily, just so he's got some light in the bus when he wants it, um, which, which is just controlled by the in and out of the... Uh, charge controller itself there so none of that's tucked away so aside from having a bit of a clean up in here got a bit of a band on the batteries to stop them going anywhere and running away some clips on the cables to stop them hanging on the terminals uh, we remote mounted the screen for the black ridge uh, we're still actually generating ooh, almost 900 milliamp hours just under an amp because uh, we're still actually getting 27 volts. Now I strung these panels together in series to uh, bring them down to the no arc and then from the no arc down and in. Um, I'm going to tuck a few cables behind some trim panels and put some bits and pieces back. I'm not going to put too much back because the, uh, the owner of the bus is still doing a bit of a demo work. inside, uh, setting things up the way he likes it. But now, on the um, output of the charge controller as well, we've also got this, which is a four port cigar lighter hub. You can buy these on Banggood, I'll link it for you. Got flashing red, <laughs> red and blue party lights up the top, and they're switchable, and they light up. And it's got two little USBs up the top there. To be handy, I think he's got a few USB devices, so he can power them from there or power them from down there on the inverter itself. The charge controller didn't have to be visible. Um, you can see it's max power point tracking. Now it's going open the circuit, taking the load off, registering what voltage it can get, and going back to charge again. So that's our first bit done, the two panels are mounted long ways down the centre of the bus because the bus has got a big curved dome in the roof, um, which hindered, like if the roof was square, or if it was like a, like a camper van style thing, you'd probably be able to put two side by side of those 190s, but um, it doesn't matter, they're mounted up there now, still room for a third if ever needed, and if you uh, wanted to upgrade you could always sell those ones off and put on 300s or something crazy, but uh, next time he brings it back, um, we will be setting up a heavy duty cigar lighter plug that can go in there now for later. Separately fused for a decent size um, fridge. He's going and buying a, a Waco or similar kind of big fridge, so he'll be uh, laughing there. And all our DC lighting will be powered from there, and then we'll run some switches. I'll either switch a couple of them or switch them in twos or something like that down the center of the bus after he's put his new roof in. But we've got uh, a double cigar lighter to put in. I've got about 10 meters of cable left, or maybe 9 meters of this cable left. It's like 3 mil uh, dual shielded DC stuff. And. Um, yeah, we'll go for gold and put some more bits and pieces in. So he's going to put a little shelf or something in here with an end on it to kind of keep his USB devices here, like phones and tablets. And you know, he, I think he's got he had one of them Bluetooth speakers, one of them decent ones. So you know, being able to charge all them off this is a cool thing. And uh, if these USB uh, outputs aren't super fast, you can always uh, use a different style of USB charger out of these. So yeah, that's where we got to today. I'm going to do some cleaning up now and store away the stuff that we... Uh... That's got to go with that too. Fuse holder for that. Store away some stuff that we don't need. And uh, put all the spare lights in because he's bought the six lights off me. Spare those down there. Store those down there rather. And uh, get all my gear out of the van and get it ready for him to take.
It's about seven o'clock now. Seven o'clock and it's raining and uh, raining and not real sunny. So that's that's the end of that. I oh, will get video of it charging hard and we'll put some load on the inverter and see what we can do. But uh, until then, thank you very much for watching. I've recorded a heap of GoPro footage so I can construct a bit of a how-to video for you guys. When I get time to edit it, I'm going on a ride, a ship ride shortly. And uh, I'll have a bit of time to do some editing, so I'll have a crack at that then. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, used a 100 amp fuse, ignore the alligator clip there. Used a 100 amp fuse for the inverter and the charge controller feeds. Uh, used UV stable conduit, half inch plumbing, pipe saddles and the other DC brake and the other breaker there needs to be put in. So I've done no 220 volt, 240 volt wiring in this installation. Legally in Australia I'm actually not allowed to. So uh, anything that he wants to use he'll have to actually physically plug in. While I've got a mess in here I might actually drop a 50 mil hole saw hole in the bottom of his cupboard here so that he can poke a power lead in there if he wants to run it somewhere else in the bus. But that's how I done this board, back plane, everything mounted to it because it's nice and easy to screw to, and no 220 volt work. I don't do 220 volt work. This is all uh, all DC except for the two outputs that come out of there. So whatever he plugs into there is up to him. It's not up to me. Uh, I will recommend he gets a little plug in RCD, and that'll uh, keep him nice and safe just in case he throws a lead out the door and it's raining or something. Anyhow. Long story short, there'll be some more videos about this bus, we're not done with it yet, we're going to put in DC to DC charging, or a battery combiner, one of the two, whatever I find more reasonable, um, because this is a full time living van, this isn't just a recreational one, this is this is the uh, customer's house, so uh, decent fridge will be going in, some nice lights, etc. Thanks heaps for watching guys, some links to some of these products, and similar ones on uh, banggood.com you can go and buy uh, for a small kickback for me thank you very much for watching catch you on the next one thanks to solar tasmania for charge controller the no arc and uh, the batteries for this installation and these light bars and uh, yeah hopefully the customer's happy when he comes and over a look a bit later thanks guys catch you on the next one